Did you know about the zip function in Python? Let's say we have a list of student names in a file, and along with that, we also have two more lists, one that contains the date of birth of each student, and another that holds the course they're studying. Now, each item in those two lists corresponds to the same position in the name list, so the first date of birth and the first course belong to the first student, and so on. But here's the problem. Managing three separate lists can get really messy, especially when the number of students increases to, say, 100 or more. So instead of juggling three separate lists, what we want is a single combined list where each student's name is grouped with their date of birth and course. And to do that, we can use Python's built-in zip function. All you have to do is pass the three lists into the zip function, separated by commas. This will pair the elements from each list by their index and return a collection of tuples, each tuple containing one student's complete data. So when we run the program, we get one big list where each tuple contains the name, date of birth, and course for each student. It's much cleaner, much easier to manage, and super helpful when you're working with structured data like this.